Hello and welcome back to Hearthstone and Arena. I'm in my name is Lumen and right now we're back with a warrior. I'm kind of excited to see if I can get a couple more wins with this deck. I should be able to. Okay. This is probably the closest I'm going to get to Kolmar's Tempo Warrior in the arena. <laughs> I know that's untrue. Okay, because there's nothing like it, but it's the closest I'm going to get. Seriously. Probably is. Ah, <sighs> Druid. No. No. Is this what's going to happen to me? Shall this be my fate? <laughs> it sometimes just takes long to get started. I don't know. Maybe it's if you like have high latency when you start the actual game up. The See wild. there. Victory or death. It's fine. It's an acceptable period of time that I had to wait. I don't even like Raging Worgen all that much against Druids. Mainly because of Wrath. But I mean, come on, it's Arena. It's Arena. I gotta take it. It's not great as an opening hand. But I guess it'll do. You know, this is the kind of hand that if you get really lucky with it, you can pull some pretty sick moves off. But if you get unlucky, then it can just be terrible. I mean, that's a swipe right there. That's a wrath right there. And that cult master, that's a claw. You see? That's how I see this hand. And that's the Arcanite Reaper I dropped before. What is it doing here? Arcanite Reaper, why are you so silly? Well, at least I've got my mid to late game set up ready. Oh, this could potentially be terrible. Although he can only play a three cost minion now, so he can play a harvest golem, you know. A raging worgen. We must cleanse the sun well. That's decent. This is very decent. I think this is the best choice now. And I say that because of the 4 health that it's got. Just because it can do some damage. Perhaps survive the turn. I take it back. I absolutely take it back. Okay, so the execute's gonna have to happen. Or the cult master. I care least about the cult master at the moment, and I feel like he's gonna throw the 4 1 into the cult master, and that'll be okay because I'm gonna play the Arcanite Reaper in the next turn. This is good. Whew. But man, am I taking a lot of damage or what? Hold on. So if I split things differently, what can I do? I gotta do it. It doesn't really matter which one I attack. I guess that one because it's making his stuff cheaper. Hey, on the bright side, that's gonna be a thing in the next turn. Oh! Okay, this is terrible. Putting that out there. So this is happening. Along with the execute. Seven life. <laughs> so bad. What happened to this game? What happened to it? If I had some taunt or something right now that's not a Tauren Warrior. I could potentially stabilize, but I just think he's gonna burn me down in like two seconds. There, see, he, he actually waited. What? No. <laughs> what did he just do? 
Well, he missed lethal. I miss lethal all the time. Okay, let's not overreact here. I'm just saying that that could potentially have been... Him. Turning this around for me. It's a druid. So, you know, I probably have to put the 8 damage here. Makes me a little bit sad. But, on the flip side, it makes me happy that he missed lethal. And I don't think he can actually, with 7 mana, do 7 damage to me right now. I don't think so. He's got a lot of cards. Put this apple on your head. But I think I might be about to make the ultimate comeback. Come on, hit hit the torrent, hit the torrent. Ah! You're choking. Absolutely got to be kidding. I'm trying to see what I must do here. Back to work. It's all the same. I just needed that out so that I could kill his 4-2 with it. Now I'm dead. Okay. Can you believe it all came down to a single knife that was juggled in his favor? That's what this came down to. If it had hit the Tauren Warrior, then, well, none of this would have happened. That's six. I'm sorry about that too, dude. Look, I am absolutely also sorry about that. Absolutely. Maybe he misses lethal again. Ah, you know, not this time. Not this time. <laughs> that game was terrible. Sorry, I... I don't know what to say about it. I mean, jeez. What the heck was I meant to do? Draw cheaper cards, please. I mean, 75% of my deck is like under 4 cost. Under as in 3 or less, probably. <sighs> hey, Casey. Hey, girl, what's up? I will crush you! She got a very manly voice. <laughs> uh, Casey's a guy named too, isn't it? Cassie, however, is not. That's not a boy name. Casey, I think, could be. Oh. Oh, good. Bloodfin Raptor away. You look vicious. <sighs> good, good, good. This is more like it. This is much more like it. So, should I put this out to get cleaved? No, let's get more board presents. Come to the conclusion that harvest golems are absolutely amazing. I mean, we knew that they were before, but even more so now, just because. How did I know the cleave was coming? I just did. Okay. There's always a cleave. What do we do? This is the best use of our mana, but sometimes it's not always the best idea to use your mana in the best possible way. I think that that will be better if it survives. I mean, another cleave is not going to kill it, but he could just play the fiery war axe in his hand. He could. What's he coining? Maybe he'll shield up. Why did he coin? Huh? Man, you know? Man, we are scraping the bottom of the barrel of opponents here. Squire, 
attend me. I like that against the fiery war axe because you know four is just out of range, two is just too little. You feel like that's a waste, but you feel like that's unattainable, unkillable. It's a predicament. Truly, it is. Let the pain speak to me. Okay, this is this is working out nicely for me. Saving that for the next turn, and to battle. I suppose we can do it like this. I didn't want to play both because of stuff like brawl. I don't know. I always come up against brawl in the arena. Always, there's always a brawl, and it's no fun. You know, when you go and stack the board nicely, because it would have been nice buffing two of them up at the same time, but. Hmm. Guy's been doing reasonably well thus far. Good answers for everything I've been playing. But what's he gonna say about another Frothin Berserker? What's he gonna say about that? This is good, because in the next turn, if this can come out, whew, man, damage will be dealt. I think. Come on, Casey. Charge forward. Oh. The blade be oh, sick combo time, is it? Oh. Uh -huh. Like in the look of what you've done here. I hope he or she realizes that I'm also getting them buffs right here. Not ideal. No, I wanted to do this. Oh, I wanted to do this. Okay, we're gonna play another one because that was disgraceful. Wait, hold on. Now you see, I was right. 75% at least is three or less. So I managed to, in that first game, draw pretty much all the high-end cards in the deck. And again, I feel like it could have actually worked out if, well, the guy didn't miss lethal, which, I don't know. Or no, if he did miss lethal, which he did, right? And if I hadn't been knife juggled so horribly. This is interesting. I don't want uh, it's a druid again. I'll keep those. I'm, I'll keep this too. Four damage is a good amount against a druid. Although going first, I would have liked something cheaper to play. I mean, going second, sorry, with a coin. Something that I could coin out, but obviously it's not meant to be. Coin in the harvest golem makes a lot of sense. Although four damage is a bit more difficult for a druid to deal that early on. So I think this is going to maybe come out. Although no. Although no. Let's go with this. Okay, you may say or may think that that's a waste, but what I'm doing now is I'm preserving the curve so I can froth in Berserker or Harvest Golem the next turn. In the turn after that, I can coin the Silver Hand Knight out. I like it. I also like the Harvest Golem here because it gives me two chances to kill that. Good. Pass me that arc light spinner. Hmm. I do do it, right? I think so. You know. This is interesting. So, I could either just put the Silverhand Knight out. What now? 
or I could go Froth in Berserker, attack into this. No, okay, Silverhand. Let's just do Silverhand Knight. Ready, sir. Kinda like that play because I've still got four damage here. That'll set me up for killing that if it does go for one of those two. And then I get to set myself up for a battle rage. And a rampage. Don't you hmm me. These druids, man. They've always got so many cards. Raging Worgen with Rampage. Whew. That'd be great. Hey. Oh. My goodness, I was gonna say that could have been perfect for me, but it's just ended up not being. Oh well. Is this the way I battle rage? I think I go that. Then I battle rage first. That's cool. Hmm. I like it. Now he's gonna wanna take this out, put that there. That makes it even better for him. Although, what I do like about this is that it gives me an opportunity to put the Arathi Weaponsmith to good use. There we go. Now, I want to get the Rage and Worgen and Froth and Berserk out soon because, well, they just sit in there. But. Oh, will there be a gap? This guy hasn't really given me a gap yet. Ready, sir. Oh, this is so ideal for me. What can he do here? A wrath. A wrath can save him a lot of pain. Please don't wrath. I don't know, I think I can deal with that. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. What now? <sighs> I feel like this is a puzzle that needs to be solved. I'm taking a big chance. Taking a big chance. I feel like it's worth it though. I should have probably put that there, but I think it's more useful alive. Because I mean, I could have drawn another card. I don't know if that was worth it. I mean, I feel like I might die right now. Imagine a force of nature. He can't force of nature and seven draw. Well, if he had to innovate. I'm happy with that. I... No complaints. <laughs> what? <laughs> that didn't do anything. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I gotta armor up. Immediately. 
no two ways about this. Then. I guess this is it. I'm going for the, uh, I don't know. Luck win. If I pick up an inner rage or a taskmaster, then I could have the win in the next turn. If you combine the Argent Commander with the Raging Worgen's double attack with the 8 damage from the Giant. Hey! <laughs> like, hey, hey there, beast! <laughs> okay. Be thirsty. That's painful. To Northrend! This is me again, kind of taking a chance. Mainly because I didn't... Mainly because I didn't armor up again, but I just don't feel like he can do 8 damage to me. Druid's direct damage spells cost too much. Now see, he thinks the same thing. Just give me that inner rage. Cruel Taskmaster. Whatever, just give me something. Elven Archer. Can I kill him? 18. So 4. 7. 11. 19. Bam, I say. There it is. Can't believe it. <sighs> I was playing chicken with this guy. Oh. But he wasn't fully committed. I feel like if he fully committed, he would probably have had the win. There you go, we're up at 4. It's gonna probably be the same as how it usually is. I'm gonna start recording and the next video is just gonna be one loss. Four wins, man. Four wins. It's the wall that I keep hitting in the arena. Anyway, whatever. Check back here soon for more. Give it a like, share it, and do all that other good stuff. Most importantly, though, happy 4-2 and two with a warrior. I mean, that was an unfortunate set of games. Even the ones that I won. Ah, even the ones that I won. Anyway. Happy that. Mm -hmm.